Hi, welcome again to Whizbang's blog, and boy, have I got a great time for you today. I have two members of the Pathlogic team. We're going to have a bit of a fireside chat and our thoughts about what they're doing and also in particular names concert. So don't go away. <laughs> It's so good to see you guys. I know we, 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 we get together like on Zoom calls and Skypes all the time, but I can't remember the last time we've actually been together um, physically. Can you remember that time, Rob? Physically together. It would have been a Christmas party two, two years, years ago. ago almost. Yeah, thank, well, that, courtesy of COVID, isn't it? And we're still in the middle of a lockdown here in Australia, aren't we? Yep, number six. What do you think, Lottie? Enjoying yeah. that? Yeah, I'm just loving it. It's just <laughs> best stuck at home all day and then you can't leave <laughs> it's not even that you know the 9 p.m curfew i i, I hardly realize it's there because you, you're not allowed to go anywhere anyway but well, that's um, true yeah who, 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 who would even notice it, it's funny you know pe people um sort of say like oh we're, we've been in lockdown we need to explain what an australian lockdown is <laughs> very, very quickly <laughs> australian lockdown was that you can only get five kilometers from your house yeah once per day you can go for for one or two hours for yep. exercise or something like that on your own every store is closed down except for like the the supermarket uh yep. there's no bars no restaurants uh right. what else is there it's like it's a serious lockdown if you go outside without a mask then you're likely to have your your neighbor report you yeah you have to wear a mask everywhere yeah. yeah and you're not allowed to have anyone to your house and if you do i can guarantee you your neighbor will report you <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> serious, serious lockdown. It's the and, Aussie way. Yeah, <laughs> COVID and the implications of COVID and everything like that for, for a long time. But there's one clear implication for the domain industry, and that is that NamesCon is not face-to-face, -face, but NamesCon is online. And it's running from the 22nd to the 24th of September. And that's this month. And uh, by the way, if you haven't got your tickets, you really should get them. Uh, it's going to be a great event. But... Um, I thought just before we started getting into NamesCon, talking about what Parklogic is doing at NamesCon, I thought I'd just ask you, say, Lotsy, uh, so what is it that you do at Parklogic? Because uh, a lot of people may be wondering this, because both for those of you wondering, both Lotsy and Rob are going to be joining me at NamesCon this year, which is going to be great. Oh, what do I do? I Sure, operational stuff. So that's kind of a dog's body. Um, Keeping numbers working, making sure the numbers uh, are collected, uh, added up and verified and all that sort of stuff and keeping the traffic flowing, uh, making sure everything goes the way it is supposed to. Uh, development, this is development stuff as well. I get involved in that too, which is really cool. Love, love that bit. But mainly it's about making sure the traffic gets to where it's supposed to go the right way and that we uh, count it and collect it and uh, account for it all correctly so I, I, I must admit there's a lot of moving parts in that uh, you just glossed over some things what people need to appreciate is that many of the viewers is that we deal with like was it 4.5 billion requests yeah. for our front end service every single day so when lots of just sort of said oh i just make sure the data is right that's a lot of data that's a yeah. lot of data so that's great so rob just coming to you now like what sort of things do you deal with at park logic well, before I get to that, you, you mentioned, uh, what was it, four and a half billion pieces of traffic in one day? Yes. So in two yeah. days, we have more pieces of traffic than there are people in the world. That's correct. <laughs> wow. That's, correct. that's a lot of traffic. That's and I'm not sure I realized it was that much myself uh, because uh, my role really is in the account side of things. So I don't get too involved in the traffic side. It's... Um, yeah, that's more Lotsy's domain and, uh, and Michael's, I suppose, uh, dealing with the clients and so on. But uh, my involvement is around uh, preparing the accounts uh, each month, make sure that our clients get paid. Uh, uh, let me tell you, I, you're the unsung hero can, uh, <laughs> for our clients, really, is they like you because you make sure they get paid. That's it. If, if, if I forget something, that uh, wouldn't look good. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'd hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably would. <laughs> yeah, so I collect all the, all the data at the end of the month and uh, throughout the month just to make sure things are staying on track and uh, that the clients are being credited with the money that they're due. And I uh, do a lot of uh, checks and balances 
uh, throughout the month to make sure that at you know end of year and um, everything's just running smoothly from an accounts point of view. And okay. each of our clients often, you know, many get paid in different currencies. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, oh. other little things that go behind the scenes to make that work. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure that there's a lot in there. There's also things such as, I know you deal work with our partners a lot as well. And uh, <laughs> there's a lot of intricacies in those relationships as well. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, from the time that uh, you bring in a new client into ParkLogic and uh, the process of signing them up can take quite a while, actually. You'd think it would be just instant in this world of technology, but uh, all the steps with all the different partners that we work with uh, and the time zones, of course, uh, you know, when stay time here and we're setting a client up, it's often overnight by the time it's actually complete. And uh, that's getting things done with them through not just setting up the account, but making sure for sale banners are working across all your domains. Uh, that, you know, if one of the partners, for whatever reason, doesn't like your domain or set of domains that uh, we send them elsewhere, not waste uh, traffic sending it to you know, someone who doesn't want it. Exactly. Uh, so. Yeah, so there's a lot of moving parts. And of course, uh, making sure all your banking details are in there. Otherwise, <laughs> it's great that you earn a million dollars in a month, but <laughs> you're not going to see it. Uh, yeah, I, I must admit there's a lot of things happening. But we're, we're about to go and attend NamesCon. What, what I think a lot of people need to appreciate is that when I say we're attending NamesCon, this is NamesCon Online, we're up from midnight until about 7 a.m. each night. Um, so each of us will be suffering jet lag without actually having gone anywhere. So, <laughs> so please go easy on us, that's for sure. But I must admit that name's kind of something I'm looking forward to so much, um, even though we would be up all night and do, doing the night shift as such. Um, there's going to be so much happening there and be great interacting with existing clients and meeting new clients and that sort of stuff and attending sessions. But what is it that you guys are looking at of NamesCon? Well, for me, it's... Um, sorry, Lachie, you go ahead. Oh, what we're looking forward to. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I mean, uh, I'm going to bed at 7.30, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> going to bed at no, it, it'll be catching up with people, I guess, because... I was thinking about it. NamesCon. I've been I sort of looking back over the tickets. NamesCon's been, I've been going to that for a number of years now, um, and it's it's nice to catch up with people that you haven't haven't had, had a chance to see for a while. I know it's virtual. I know it's not quite the same, but um, it's still been nice to to start chatting to people, uh, even about more mundane things like you know how they're going, yeah, you know, in life generally. Um, but I'm really looking forward to uh, being able to also explain uh, you know, what it is we do and, and how we are uh, doing things and how that might be a benefit to, to uh, new people or new customers in particular or um, older, older customers who've been around for a while but have a few questions about uh, you know, how it's going and where we're going. So it's really the interaction with, with the customers that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. And you, Rob? It's really just putting a face to some of the names. I mean, most of the contacts I have with uh, our parking providers, for example, are via email or Skype messages. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of face-to-face. -face. Um, you know, some I know what they look like and, you know, I've dealt with a couple of times over Skype, but um, this will be a chance to do it on a bigger scale. It's going to be a fantastic event. Like, I must admit, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're, well, I'm doing a session for about 20 minutes on the technological pipeline, the technology pipeline for ParkLogic and what we have coming out. There's some really exciting things in there, uh, very innovative stuff. Uh, then I'll be doing another session for the high-end domainers. When I say high-end, let's like traffic domainers. Um, if you're doing any sort of traffic revenue, then that's the session to attend. It's not for the faint of heart. I'm gonna be digging really deep into some stuff, so uh, which is gonna be great. Uh, then there'll be some other sessions on like what's happened in the industry in the last six months and looking at those those workshops. So uh, it's something I'm, I'm really looking forward to this year. And of course, meeting everyone. We're a platinum sponsor this year. So um, and we're really excited to be involved with NamesCon, the whole NamesCon team. They do a great job. So just to wrap things up, it's the 22nd to the 24th of September. So it's in a couple of weeks time. So make sure you get your tickets. Get a lot of names, Con. Say hi to Lotsy, Rob, or myself, Michael, 
and we'd love to go along and talk with you and meet you in some of those sessions as well, and particularly hear from you in the Q&A. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks a lot for that. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video and you find them really valuable for your business and helping you make better decisions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or pass the video on to your friends. Anyway, thanks a lot for that. Have a great day. Bye.